What's up, people at the cardboard? Hello. Uh, today I'm bringing you trap. I'm bringing you trap tricks. So we're gonna go with the monsters first. Three Marmelio, three Mantis, three Pudica, two the Spider Lady, and uh, two Dianita. I would say this is the best, like the best way you can run it. None of the other names are worth it, and it's the most consistent. I haven't had any problems with it. However, the trap trick spell and traps. One field spell, it's searchable, you only need one. Three, the monster trap. Uh, it makes the deck the even playable, you know. Um, two, gravekeeper. One nightmare, one flood floodgate. I would say, whoops. <laughs> I would say I go between two Floodgate and one and one. I'm liking this because you have the choice, but Floodgate is the one that like works the most unless you're playing against a fusion deck. Um, there's that. Not gonna lie, I noticed a lot of the um, the uh, the trap tricks, like mainly the spells and traps, they work well with like insect decks like Bee Trooper and the Battle Wasp. Yeah, I I wouldn't I, I don't know like how I would put that together. I but there's like. I've been thinking about trying to throw in um, like a little Insector engine or like Trap Tricks into Insector somehow, like just for fun, just to see if it would work, but it's just too convoluted. Might as well play it the way it works the best, right? Yeah. Uh, hand Traps, we're running three Ash, three Imperm, three Evenly Matched. These are great because if you're, force, if you're going first, especially with the Evenly Matched, you can just discard it with the uh, Holita. Um, and if you have to, you can always do it, but this also procs your link, so, yep, I have no problem with that. I love those, uh, for consistency, I'm running three pot prosperity, just got reprinted, you can get a bajillion of it, it's super cheap, go for it while you still can before they hit it. Um, two triple T, and then one call by the grave, this just lets your plays go through. Uh, this deck is kind of fragile if your opponent like knows where to hit you So this just lets it actually Like you can actually play right I was gonna say build off of it, but Well, this one says uh, no, you're not gonna ash or you know, You're not gonna ash my stuff or you're not gonna Hand trap my things, you know, and then this just says like oh I either get to Draw two so I can continue playing, see your hand to make you go neg one, or uh, steal whatever is on your field, right? So it just lets you continue through interruptions, both of those cards, because this deck is kind of fragile. Uh, one Harpy Feather Duster. I like it as a one of in the deck because when it comes up, it comes up. There's those matchups where they have no background or they're unchained and they love it when you blow their stuff up. I would say like it's a, it's a good one of this is like the flex spot you can change it if you want but everything else I wouldn't change and I'm playing the three shade brigadine over the parallax seed because this procs off your link and parallax seed always gets hit with like a hand trap and then you're just stuck there with the eight star monster and you're just like I don't know what to do so it's also really good in grind game too for the extra deck, uh, three, the Sarah, it's your main go-to, like you need it to make the deck run, so run three. Um, this could easily be turned into a Little Knight if you have it. I did not have it today during the tournament, so this is what I ran. I never even summoned this, but when it does come up, it can help you. This always comes up. Uh, the three of, this helps you OTK, helps you destroy stuff, clear the field and negate, you know. Uh, for the XYZs, we're only running one of each because you only need one of each. If you have to go more than one, this is what you're opening up with, and then these are later games. So if you're forced to, like, go into multiples, you're probably going to lose anyway because you have to grind, and there's better cards to go into, and you need more space in your extra deck. 
for the best xyz time thief for doer non-targeting removal because of all your trap monsters it's amazing i love this card abyss dweller it just says no to graveyard stuff this plus like a Reflasia is super hard to get around babuska it, it's not as good because of little knight this format but like when it comes up late game and they've already used their little knight hopefully they don't have a second it's it's there uh exiton if you just need to clear their fields i rarely ever go into it came up sometimes you ever uh, thought about oh sorry you ever thought about running the beer oh that's an aside yeah uh, i'll show you the side too uh gaga cowboy i love making him 25 you have your guys aren't that big so you use gaga cowboy to make him into 25 so you have that 25 beat stick it's amazing you want you want a 25 beat stick it's great and then zeus and then evil zeus yep for side i think going here for side this won me so many games but it's not good against everything so i side it uh dimensional shifter it does affect your gameplay but it doesn't stop your gameplay which is important but other decks it completely stops the gameplay um three nib once again like this card is good against certain decks, but not every deck. I, in, honestly, I lost to the token because I didn't have a follow-up play a couple times today. So, I don't know. It's good, but you gotta know how to run it and when to activate it. I played a lot of Unchained. This deck doesn't have a good time with Unchained. Unchained grinds better. Um, one Panker Tops. This is what I usually side in if they're not running... I'd swap out the Feather Duster for this because probably going to go second or like see this at all is decent to beat, beat stick, you know. Um, two Lightning Storm in case they're running a back row deck that I don't like or just to clear out the field. Uh, three Dimensional Barrier if you're going against the Fusion decks and then three Anti-Spell because you don't run that many spells and you can side them out for better cards. So yeah, that is the deck. Okay, that's Trap Tricks. Yep. Um, got any uh, advice for like new players? Uh, have fun with the hardest learning curve of a game you can possibly think of. Um, find a community that you can play test with. Find a deck that is simple and cheap to figure out how to play. Probably start playing GOAT format with someone. For new players, yeah, play play GOAT format, and then whenever you figured out GOAT format, then relearn the entire game because it's completely different. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. But that's it for Truck Tricks. Hit like and subscribe. Catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye.